Give it up for Louis Cato and the Late Show Band right there, everybody. Did you have a nice... Lewis, welcome back. Happy 2023 to you. Happy 2023 did you have, to you. Did you have too. a lovely break? I did. You know, I made up the main for a couple of days. Wow. Yeah, how about you? Uh, I went down to South Carolina. Oh, South yeah. Carolina. Me and, me and the family, we traded, we traded diseases for a few weeks. Yeah, I got That's that. That's what you do. Same. That's what you do. Yep. I saw that. Anybody over there, you seen that, uh, that uh, what's that, that Avatar 2 movie? You seen that? I didn't see it. Anybody seen that one? It? Yeah. No. Yep, I saw it. It was good. <laughs> I still haven't seen the first everybody's one. Blue. Everybody's, everybody's blue. Everybody's still again. blue? Yeah. Everybody's still blue. You know, everybody's praying to Ewa. Uh -huh. You know, the big tree that talks to you. I think that's... I saw the movie. I can't remember anything in it. <laughs> Other than that, it was truly, truly enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. Whales. Talking whales. There you go. Yeah, what more do you want? Mm -hmm. It's like Flipper that could kill you. <laughs> Ask your grandparents about Flipper. <laughs> <laughs> We got. <laughs> it's good though. We got uh, comedian Tom Papa is coming out yeah, here in just a little while. Today, tonight. I was enjoying him. But 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 first, ladies and gentlemen, my first guest tonight is an Emmy Award-winning writer and actor. She's also the star and creator of ABC's Abbott Elementary. Yeah, you're gonna need a lot more than one card of books to beat my kids. Yes, I'm well aware of that. This is my third trip back from the library this morning. How are you doing that? Well, I didn't want to reveal my secret earlier, but I figured out how to fit two weeks of math lessons into next week, which means this week, my kids can devote their time to reading and beating your class. Behold, our reading wonderland. I figured if I come for the queen, then I best not miss. Please welcome to The Late Show, Quinta Bronson. to have you on here. It's so nice to be here. Happy 2023. Happy freaking 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. That's right. Happy New Year. No, I don't. Listen, I, are, you, are you ready for a new year? Because 2022 was pretty good. To Quinta Brunson, you won an Emmy. Yes. You were one of Time's 100 most influential, influential people. Yes. Okay? A lot of responsibility. I know. <laughs> one of People Magazine's People of the Year. Mm -hmm. What do you, are you going to, do you feel like an, uh, a need to, uh, one up, one up this that? year, or are you just gonna let it ride? Opposite. I want to one down it. I want to go. Uh, I want to. I want to. I want to rest. Last year was such an incredible year for not only me but my cast members, my production, my show, mm -hmm. my my family, my friends, and I. I love sleep. Today I slept before I came here. Oh. I took a nap. Oh. And um, are you are you normally a napper? No. You're not normally a napper. No, I'm not normally a napper. And I did one today. I did a nap, and uh, I did it for 30 minutes. And then I woke up, and I was recharged and renewed. So I kind of want to get into naps this year. That's my, that's oh, yeah. my goal. See yeah. what naps can do. I'm a huge fan. You take naps. Yeah. Yeah. I have a recommendation. Are you are you are you in a relationship with anyone? Nothing. I am. In my business. Uh, married. Why are you interested? No. <laughs> Are you no, married? is that I married into a family that doesn't oh, nap. They don't nap. And it's difficult because yeah. if you nap, they're like, are you sick? I'm like, no, I'm napping. I'm napping. Well, I'm learning that. I used to think if you nap, then you were a wuss or a loser. But now I'm learning that, you know, you can nap and, and still be a winner. So. No, you're recharging you're for recharging the next battle your body, is what it yes. is. Yes, yeah. Okay, uh, star and creator uh, of Abbott Elementary, which is, as I said, here you go. Here you are winning. That's me. There you are, winning the Emmy. <laughs> for that. Yes. <laughs> and now you, you you also write on the show, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm in the writers' room. Um, writers' room, and you and you star on the show. Yeah, I star on the Does show. the star of the show ever look at the writer Quinter Brunson's script and go, uh, "She's got to do better than this"? <laughs> you know what? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Uh, I, Are you? Because it's two different. It's two different two hats. Different. Man. And then also, I'm also a producer on the show, so it's three different brains. Wow. So, uh, producer me is upset at. Uh, 
writer me for not being in the writer's room this week. And um, then producer me is also upset at actor me for having so many drinks on New Year's because it's going to show up in my face on, <laughs> on camera when I get back to set. Wow, so, producer yeah. you is really tough on the other I two know. of you. She's a bitch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you grew up in Philly, right? I grew up in and, Philly. And the show's based there. That just, Yay, just seemed like, you know... Go with what you know, is that the idea? Like, Yeah, yeah, I mean, the show was uh, inspired by my... My mom was a public school teacher, and the te Yes, yes! And I spent so much time with her in the schools, just... I was in her class, and then from first to fifth grade, I, w I went to the school where she taught, and then I was just in school more than normal people were in school. And my mom wasn't just a mom to me. She was a teacher, and she wasn't just a teacher to me. She was a fully formed person. So mm. I think I got to see a little bit more of it. And then the Philadelphia, I think, is one of the most special places in the world. Um, I'm biased, but I think it's a special city with a lot of heart and a lot of love um, and a lot of crazy mascots that are <laughs> ugly and make no sense, but I think that kind of, like, represents our city well. So oh. I think a show in Philly, to me, seemed appealing because yeah. I felt you couldn't make that kind of school show anywhere else. So your mom's a teacher. Yeah. Did you, did Quint, young Quinta Bronson have to be a good student, or, or did she just rebel? Oh, mm, yeah. I rebelled, I think, what happened? So I was good. I was really, really good up until around seventh grade. That's when it started to go downhill. It's because mm. my sister started doing my hair. So I, I used to be a, a, a dweeb, a nerd, whatever you want to call it. And then my sister started perming my hair and giving me bob, so I look like a little, um, I had a little bob. You know what a bob is? I do know what a bob okay, is. Okay, so I had a little bob. <laughs> and uh -huh. I was cute. And I had, like, a she's all that moment. And then, um, but really... <laughs> so then, like, school can wait? Because so she's all that. boys started liking me and stuff, and then I started... Um, yeah, that was trouble. And then I got my, I got back up. Oh, I was back on the up and up. And then, uh, ninth grade, what happened? Then I, cheerleader, uh, I started cutting school. It was a whole story, but you know what? My grades never slipped, and I think that was the important part, you know? You can cut school and keep your grades up. That's what I want to <laughs> tell America. It's a message of hope. I get, yeah, yeah, yeah. I cut school hope. once. Oh, I cut really? school once, not to make this about me, but I cut yeah, school please. once because sure, sure. my mom was out of town yeah. and I got her to write me a note. Yeah. Like I said, Stephen has the permission to go to choir practice or whatever mm -hmm. and had her sign it mm -hmm. with a permanent pen, but I used that erasable pen on the top. Oh. Then I erased what the note was about and I put in Stephen was sick yesterday with my mom's signature underneath that it. That is diabolical. Isn't that diabolical? Oh but here's the thing. Yeah. So I had that in my pocket. Yeah. No one and I was so bored. You were bored. Because no one else stayed home. It was just me. Not me. I, I was turning up. I went home. I, I would walk around Philadelphia. I'd, very historical city. I, I only learned that because I cut school. But I wouldn't have learned the history. <laughs> that was but if you stay in school, you learn about Philadelphia. Learned. You know. I wouldn't have learned. Uh, there was um, an underground railroad stop in Philly. I learned that by cutting school. So, uh, and then I went home and I watched the same two movies over and over, Drumline and Spider-Man. And I think they gave me a real love of... Of, um, of the art of, of film, and, and I watched them over and over and over, and I wouldn't be able to do that if I didn't cut school, so... Uh, there it is. Does that make sense? Did yes. that check out? Yeah. Uh -huh. 100%. We have to take a quick break. Be right back with more Quinter Brunson. Everybody stick around. <laughs> 